What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today behind me is the brand new 2021 Porsche 718 Boxer. And today we're gonna do a review. We're gonna talk about all the features, how much fun it is to drive, and then explain to you how you can get behind the wheel for yourself. Without further ado, let's get into the review. The Porsche Boxster has the same silhouette as it has had in previous models, previous years. Now, the most impactful changes are the front bumper and a lot's happening on the interior, as well as a few different performance features on the engine, but we'll get to all of that in a second. Before that, I wanna point out some of the physical features on the outside that you can see right now, like this gray paint, the red rooftop, which also matches the interior of this car we will get into later. And from the side profile view, you'll notice these functional air vents. Now this really does funnel air to the mid-mounted engine in this car. Another feature I wanna point out are these wheels right here. The Porsche Boxster is sitting on 20 inch wheels in the front and back. These are the factory wheels. They come black like this with a Porsche badge in the middle, which looks sick, but they're also sitting on the brand new Michelin Pro Sport 4s. These are the tires that have a little bit of felt on the logo and they are great all season all supportive type of rubber. So no matter where you're driving, these are gonna be great. From this angle, you're gonna see the 718 Boxster logo on the back tail. You're also gonna notice the single exhaust port in the back, which we think is awesome. It sounds great. I'll show you what that sounds like in a minute. But first, let me show you how much storage space you have in this car. Not only do you have one trunk, but two. There's a front trunk and a rear. And this is how much space you get in the back. It's enough for a full-size carry-on, also a few soft cloth bags can fit back here all at the same time but what's interesting is you actually have more space in the front trunk you have enough for two full-size carry-ons and extra storage space this actually is a lot more in the front than you had in the back this is not an suv this is a sports car it's compact and let's talk a little more about the interior next what the engine sounds like and what it's like to drive this is the porsche key these are the buttons that you saw me open the trunks earlier and this is what you actually have to insert to turn the car on i'm going to do that now but before I do, please like this video, click the bell if you like our content, and subscribe if you aren't already. This Porsche is a two liter, four cylinder turboed engine that produces 300 horsepower and 280 pound feet of torque. That's important because it's a very lightweight car. The curb weight comes right around 2,940 pounds, so under 3,000 pounds, which means 300 horsepower goes a long way. Okay, so before we get on the road, I'm gonna take the top down so we can get the real convertible experience. But before I do, I wanna time and show you just how quickly you can actually take the roof down. Starting in three, two, one. Pretty quick. Before we actually get out on the road, next up, let me just show you a little bit of the features here on the interior of the car. Right off the bat, on the interior, you can see the red leather, carbon fiber trim, and you have this cool matching red stitching across the dash here. And this stitching carries out throughout the center console, over to the passenger side, and really ties this interior together really well. The steering wheel is really cool. It's made out of really great materials. The paddle shifters behind are really small and mounted to the actual wheel, not the steering column like some other cars, but I do like it, it works very well and it shifts quickly. Moving along, I wanna show you a little bit about the speaker system because this car has the Bose upgraded sound system. So this is an extra option. Right here on the door, you're gonna see the Bose sound system. It's not only on this door, but also the passenger door. This is an extra option. So getting this is a little more expensive, but it makes a huge difference in the audio quality. So if you like your tunes, you like your music, it's well worth getting this extra option. There's also a little bit of extra storage space inside the door, a little secret compartment right here. And you get a little secret compartment in the console. Let's check that out now. So that same red stitching does carry along this center console, tying the interior together pretty well. Now this being the new Boxster has this seven inch touchscreen, which is really cool. These are all of your entertainment controls. Your AC controls right under that is your shifter. So by going back and forth, you can toggle through park, reverse, drive, and neutral. Under that, you've got two buttons here. You've got your hazards, a lock doors button, and under that is the fun stuff. So these buttons here, you have something to engage sport, a button to turn on and off traction control. From this button, you can turn on and off the rear spoiler. So when you have it engaged, the spoiler will lift up. Finally, you have these two buttons in the center that'll take up and down the convertible roof. One more feature to touch on before we get on the road is there are actually two cup holders hidden in plain sight. 
In this carbon fiber trim, you can just press on this center piece that drops down, revealing two cup holders. And these adjust to fit different size cups. What's cool is when you want to hide this middle piece, you can do that. And these little arms just poke out. I think it's a really good way to hide cup holders, especially in compact cars like this. Now, let's get on the road. It's quite a bit of power, but you don't really feel it until you really get past that like 4,000, 4.5 thousand RPM range. It is a turboed four cylinder engine, so. Yeah. So it like, takes a second to really spool up. That's my only complaint about the car is that you don't feel the power until you're a little later into your RPM spectrum. But once you hit it, you feel it. Oh, and it shifts so fast. So the handling is, is it's very comparable to the new Corvette, similar to the Mercedes GT. It's a stiffer handling. It's not quite like Ferrari stiff where you're literally like in a race car trying to, it's playful. Somewhere in the middle is a good way to describe the handling here. I will say that it shifts as fast as the really high-end luxury exotic sports cars. Like the Ferraris and Lamborghinis, they shift just as fast, which tells me the transmission system is insane. We are driving now with the top down. The weather is incredible. This is like the perfect day to reserve a convertible vehicle when you have weather like this. I really want to hammer home this point that the shifts, even these paddle shifters are so small, but it shifts lightning fast and you actually can feel like the switch in the gearbox. So there's like a little vibe, like a haptic feedback you get as soon as it switches, which is nice. It just like really hones in on this like sportive driving experience. Let's do a quick U-turn to take that corner with a little more speed, just so we can kind of talk about how plants of the car feels. All right. Planted the entire time. Even taking corners at high speed, like the traction is great. The weight distribution is great. There was no slipping. For as much power and as light as a car like this is, it feels very safe, which is cool. You can't say that for most of our sports cars. It's either one or the other. Super planted and safe or really fast and fun. And this one is like a really great balance of both. Another thing that I really like about the dash on this car is it's analog and it has an orange needle in the center. So while you're getting all of this like haptic feedback from the car, you're also seeing the orange tack like go all the way up and down the RPM band because a lot of the newer sports cars and luxury cars are all digital everything. The Porsche kind of holds a little more classy analog haptic, like there's buttons to press. Don't get me wrong, the technology is there. There are screens. There's a screen here, there's this big center screen here, but it's just a little more classic, if that makes any sense. So we're gonna do one more pull and uh, if you guys haven't liked the video already, please do, it helps a lot. Also, if I've missed anything and you're a Porsche expert just watching this video for the hell of it, let me know what I missed in the comments and I'll pin it. Three, two, one. Huh. Gosh, that never gets old. Compact, sporty, lightweight, classy, buttons, driver feedback. You gotta love it. This car is great. Okay, guys. First and foremost, I want to thank you for watching. If you like these reviews, the thumbs up goes a long way. If there's other stuff that you want to see us do, if we missed anything in this review, comment down below. It helps a lot. This vehicle is part of the MPH Club fleet. So if you want to get behind the wheel, all you ever have to do is reach out. We've got a toll free number listed in the description below. Our email address is below and you can check us out on Instagram and check out our website. Thanks again. See you in the next video. Bye.